New at six, they're like the immune system's own supercharged superheroes. When a foreign invader attacks the body, the immune system uses antibodies to neutralize the pathogen. Ursula Perry shows us how researchers believe alpacas may hold the key to studying and treating rare diseases. Alpacas may be coveted for their wool and maybe their personalities too, but according to some researchers, what's in their blood may prove to be more valuable. It turns out that alpacas and other members of the camelid family, old world camels and llamas, have a very unique form of antibody. They have what's called a heavy chain only antibody, which means it is easier to extract and isolate a fragment of that antibody. It sort of enables the, the study of new diseases as they're understood to be related to, to specific mutations. Such as Jordan syndrome, which affects about 100 kids worldwide. The team is using the alpaca antibodies to visualize and potentially regulate the gene product called PPP2R5D, which is linked to the condition. Patients that have the syndrome known as Jordan's syndrome, um, they are characterized with intellectual disability, large head, um, low muscle tone. The same gene that is linked to Jordan syndrome is also linked to autism, Alzheimer's and some forms of cancers. The team says with a quick blood sample from the alpacas, they have a plethora of different tools to be able to study this will increase our understanding and hopefully pave the way for future development of treatments. Earlier this year, the very first drug to use antibodies from the camelid species was approved by the FDA. That includes camels, alpacas, and llamas. It's all used to treat a very rare blood disorder. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.